Yeah, we're pretty good on lights. Oh, I wish I'd, I've lost the red filter for this thing, which really kills the, uh, you know, kills the power of it. But when you're actually down there settled in, a white light like this just don't do because it'll burn your eyes and it'll burn everything else's eyes too. Get up, have to pee or something. When I was up there in Oklahoma, it was a full moon. Oh yeah, it was nice. Yeah, it was pretty up there. Yeah, it was pretty up there though. I didn't even need a flashlight. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's a bag or a white rock. Maybe that's a rock. It's had its moss. Yeah, the moss got scraped off of it. Can we push that thing a Nah, I got it. I gotta get a workout in anyway. They said that when we get to Lejeune, once we all get settled in, we're all gonna be running a PFT. Three mile run, as many pull ups as we can do, and uh, crunches. PT right from Lejeune. Probably will be. Actually, it'll probably be real chill once I think about it. That's what they're saying. They're saying it's real relaxed there because I guess when you're dealing with a lot of classified information and stuff like that, they don't want you to be stressed out to make a mistake. So I guess that might be it. I think about every video that I've made for two years now has been unlisted. In what? Unlisted. Uh, on YouTube you can select to make your videos unlisted so that people can't search for them. Yeah. And the only way they can watch it is if they have the link to it. That's, cool. That's how I've been making them, yeah. Or you can make them private and I think then you got to have a password. That's too much work though I figured. I make them all unlisted. down through here somewhere there was a uh, one time I call it a uh, like a big ugly raven you know, you know how a raven does that croak a raven? yeah it does that kind of croaking sound that it does I mean, you hear that but it was like it was coming out of like a megaphone at me it wasn't down here it's on further down there's a big rock face and it was coming out of that and I went in there after it to see what it was and of course there wasn't nothing there is loud. I had a buddy. The reason why I started taking note of that, I knew it was too loud for a bird, but I didn't never really pay any attention to it because I'd hear it every now and then. And one time, you know, because this road really starts to wind in once you get around, around to the bottom of it down here, because we're still at the top. And I'd be walking walking around down there and this thing would be croaking like that. Sound like a raven. And it followed me. Oh. This thing is in the woods and it was following me around. You never could hear it walking. But it followed me for a solid mile. And I never could figure out what it was. And I was telling this guy about it. And he said one time he was hearing that same exact thing and it would be following him like that. And he uh, just banged a 90 degree turn right into it, you know, to see if he could catch it. Cause, you know, whenever he tried to walk up on it, there wouldn't be nothing there. And uh, there's just a big old pissed off looking foot standing there looking at him. How was it? Yeah, he caught it. I guess that when he would bang, bang a 90 like that, it would just take off because it anticipated it. And they're so fast, but he caught it up against a bunch of bushes and it was just standing there. Stop right there. I've got to All right. I haven't heard that in a long time though. Hey, heard that sound in a long time. Oh, that well, that raven deal. Oh, it's during the day. 
Yeah, that was broad daylight. That was right as the sun was starting to go down. Every time. Always about during the same time of day and uh, always right in late spring, early summer. Yeah. That's good though. Hydrate you and all that. I probably need to start drinking more water. I ain't been drinking a whole lot. Just been sitting down there doing those classes. It's kind of eating up all my free time. Here you go. Lay thing down there. Are you gonna lay something on it? It don't weigh nothing. starting to die yeah it's been weak for a while it's a whole lot brighter than that yeah yeah that's that's probably better like i said than the one i got when i got some of the best ones too so that's a rechargeable flashlight mm -hmm. the batteries that are inside of it are it's kind of like a cell phone battery and just it's sealing it's like a cylinder instead it's the same idea though i got three of them they'll run forever this thing right here, if you put a normal battery like that in it, the size that it would use, it would just cook it in no time. 30 minutes, I think they said, it would just die. That's crazy. Yeah. The only problem with this thing is, is if it runs too long, it gets hot and it'll burn you. Well, there's just so much power, I guess. See, I'd load this thing back up before we left long by the big old thing of a matters. Oh, yeah. So we got extra can't beat that I saw that they're making them headlamps like that now to get them more powerful than about what that one is you got to get a separate battery pack that runs wires That's crazy. so yeah that thing just runs all over your head I don't think I could stand to have one like that that thing's got a heck of a battery compartment on it Listen to that. What's that stud, yeah, li li just listen, like how it is out here. Quiet, dude. 